Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Team. In this video, we will look into solving the problem permutation sequence. Before we start, please do like and subscribe to the channel Hacker Team. So let's look into the problem. The set n contains 1 to n and for n elements, we can generate n factorial permutations. By listing and labeling all the permutations in order, we get the following sequence for n is equal to 3. This means, let's say if n is equal to 3, the permutation we can get is 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1. And for 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1. So total, we'll get 6 permutations, that is n factorial 3 into 2 into 1. So let's say if you ask us to find the fifth permutation, we need to return 3, 1, 2. That is the fifth permutation in this for the given numbers. So how do we do it? One way to do it is we find all the factorials for the given numbers from 1 to n until we find the kth permutation of that particular sequence. And it takes n factorial times in the worst case. Let's say if they ask you to get the sixth permutation, it will take you n factorial and the time complexity is very high. How do we do it? So let's look into a little bit of logic here. Let's take the given example 1, 2, 3. The length of the string is 3 and we know the factorial is 6. Let's say if they ask the kth, let's say k is equal to 5 in this case. So we need to find the first number in the permutation. So we can achieve it by doing the factorial by the given k. The factorial is k, 6, and the given number is 3, and the kth element is 5. So what we can do is we can do by, so the indices starts with 0. So one thing we need to do is reduce the k by 1. So it becomes 4. Since we reduced it, we will reduce the factorial by 3, which will become 2. Now we need to find the index, right? So we can get the index by index of the first element is 4 by 2, which is 2. So the in, at index 2, we have the element 3. So that will be the first number. And then since we already used 3, we need to get the unique permutation, right? So we will remove this element from the given array list. And now n becomes uh, 2 and the array becomes 1, 2, and the factorial becomes 2. Now this becomes uh, 2 by 2, that is 1. So now we need to reduce the k. How do we do it? Is k mod 2, which is 0. So now we need to get the new index, which is index is equal to k by 1, which is 0. So we will get the element from 1, which is 1, from 0th index. Now we will remove it. Eventually, we left with one single digit, so we will populate that. So the result will be 3, 1, 2. So the algorithm is uh, for the given length 1, 2, 3, we will create an array with the given elements. Now we find the factorial, which is 6. Uh, since the indices starts with 0, we will reduce a k by minus 1 and the factorial by 3 which is equal to 2 and k is equal to 5. For the first digit we can achieve it by doing the k by factorial which gives us 2 which is the first element index. We will grab that first index 3. Once we grabbed it we will remove 3 from the list so that the new array will be 1 2 with the length of 2 and we will find the factorial 2 by 2, which is 1. And we will reduce the k by k mod factorial, previous factorial, which is uh, 4 by 2, which is 0. Now, again, it, we will follow the same principle of finding the index uh, is by doing k by the factorial, which is 0 in this case. At the 0th index, we have 1. And finally, we are left with only one element. So once we are left with one element, we append that element to the end. So we get 3, 1, 2. So let's go ahead and code this out. So now let's create an array list since we didn't know what the, how many number of elements will be there. Now we'll find the initial factorial with one. Now for n i is equal to zero, i less than n i plus plus. 
what we do is we will fill this uh, nums with uh, the i i is equal to 1 we need to fill from 1 to n less than or equal to n nums dot add of i and we need to increase the factorial fact star equal to i that way we get the factorial now as we discussed the indices starts from 0 to n and not from 1 to n so now we will reduce the k for the factorial we will since we reduce the k the factorial would be like we need to reduce it uh, by the nth term so fact by is equal to n so now we have the factorial and this what we need to do is again now we will go through each element in the array for int i is equal to n minus 1 we will go from the back i greater than or equal to 1 because if there is only one element left all we are doing is we are appending it uh, to the end of the string i minus minus and we need to have a string builder to create the return string Now, how do we get the current element? As we said, we will divide k by the factorial. Int p int current is equal to k by fact. Now, we will append this element to the string builder. As p dot append of nums dot get of i. And we need to convert it to the string value. There we use string dot value of nums dot get off i. Yeah. Now once we appended it, we need to remove that element from the given nums. So nums dot remove of the current element. All right. Now we need to modify the factorial and the k. Now k will become k mod factorial. Fact. And the factorial will become, we need to remove the multiplication. So we need to subtract with the n minus 1 by is equal to i. So yeah. Once we are out of the loop, we will be remaining with only one element. We need to add, append it append of string dot value of nums dot get off zero now we appended everything a typo here all we need to do is return as b dot to string let's go ahead and run this out Oh, my bad. I need to add the current element, not the i. Get off i. So, yeah. So, let's go one more time what we are doing here. For the given n, 1, 2, 3, we created this array list. We found the factorial is 6. Now, we know, let's say k is 5. We know the indices starts from 0. So, we will reduce it by 1. k minus minus. And since we reduced it, the factorial we need to find the factorial for only two elements. So we are dividing it by n. Now the factorial will become two in this case and k will become four. Once we are inside the loop, we are finding the current element. So every time we need to find the first element. So we are doing it by k by factorial, k four by two, current is equal to four by two, which gives the two. That is the index of the first element. So 0, 1, 2, we will get 3 and append it to the string. Now we remove this 3. Since we removed an element, we have to update k, which is k mod factorial. So at this time, it would be 0. Now k is equal to 0 and factorial would be factorial by n minus 1, which in this case is 2. So factorial is 2, 2 by 2 is 1 now factorial is equal to 1 once we come back into the loop 
we become 0 by 1 which will give the 0th index we will get this and add it to the string and we will be left with only one element at the end we are adding that element so we return 312 that is the fifth permutation of the given number i hope it's clear please do like and subscribe to the channel hacker heap i'll be doing complete code and data structure problems so thank you